Hey guys, welcome back to Wasteland 2. Just doing a little bit of a reviewing of where we left off here. So, there's a quest about helping Jonathan Gitlin prove his innocence. That's the, uh, the corpse and the synth that we found in these tunnels we're in right now. Then there's the guy that's up for a execution, Mr. Fletcher, because he apparently just couldn't keep his area clean enough. Which apparently poses some threat because it makes the wildlife down here come out and attack people, but still seems like a weirdly harsh punishment. And then down here, there's the, uh, uh, we're supposed to tell Angel Oracle that Rhodey is open for trade. Rhodey being the last time we, ca we came from. Sorry it's been a while since the last episode. Uh, frankly, uh, Dragon's Dogma came out, and Dragon's Dogma is very fun. And so, I fell behind on a few games for a little while, just having a good old time. But that's, that's like the, what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Arguably. Anyway, let's get on our sniper. Everyone reloaded? They might not- they might not have been, actually. So I want to keep going through these tunnels, and see what we can find around here. We'll see. There's definitely some dangerous wildlife down here, but we're, we're trying to- kind of trying to unlock any potential secrets that might be going on with this messed up little creepy cult-like society. I may just need to run past this thing. Everyone feeling healthy? It's some damage, but it's not too bad. Our medic in particular is not doing great though. Probably should just go ahead and let her take care of herself. No, she's already selecting herself there. Uh, small med pack. Just give her a little bit more health to work with. So I think I've come to the conclusion that uh to try to help with the pacing of this game, because it kinda it kinda drags. Uh I think I'm gonna hold off on doing all the dialogue for some characters. You see, uh in the original in the first continent, there was there was just flat out fewer humans in a lot of these locations because it was a way less populated, less healthy sort of environment. Hello, definitely some enemies around the corner here. Let's see if I can sneak up on them. Fuck you! There we go. That's a decent starting point. Just take a chunk out of him immediately. Hey you. Bye. And you down there? There could easily be more around the corner I'm not ready to deal with though, so we'll see how that one goes. Let's see, you're, you're my melee character, let's go... ...take a step outside to see where the other enemies could be coming from. Oh, that's, that's that guy, he's just not dead yet. Well, if I go over here to the edge of my movement speed, I can go into... There it is, ambush mode. That may give, the, that may give me the opportunity to get a free hit on that enemy as they inevitably come charging in. But yeah, now that the uh, town's gotten more populated, it's gotten a little excessive, where uh, there's so many, like we, what we learned in Rodeo is that there's so many characters everywhere, and you can ask all of them the same five questions over and over again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to avoid asking the same questions too much, unless I think the specific character is likely to give me new information. Just try to like, help things move along a little faster. Because I... I'm under the impression that I'm wasting my time a little bit by asking too many questions. And other games have trained me to think that all the dialogue is going to be important, or at least new... Ooh, bag of cat litter, just like that. Exactly what we're looking for. I'm surprised how often we're finding those just around, as opposed to as part of mandatory quests or something. But yeah, just to help us keep, keep a decent pace, I'm going to go ahead and try to... Let's try to inspect this thing. Oh, I mean, yeah, ammunition. Okay, we're good. If I can inspect it properly. Guys, out of the way. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can, uh... make this series paced a little bit better by... kind of... Uh, dealing with dialogue a little bit differently. I still wanna try to do basically every quest that's available. Seems like a reasonable thing. It's kind of these guys' job. But I'm gonna tr um, I'll probably do it a little faster, because Rhodia dragged for a while. To the point where it made me a little more... a little less... excited to play the game at some point, because I'm like, oh man, these... They just keep having new NPCs, and like, to the point where I was basically done with the entire zone. And then I was walking into the bar, and the bar had another NPC that I could ask every question to. I'm like, ah... Uh, okay, this is so I need to change something about how I handle this. Hey, you. Let's see. I could walk everyone past individually, but let's see if they're just smart enough not to walk into the hazard. I didn't see any damage pop up. Oh, there's another one over here. Where's the valve on this one? Oh, it's on this side. At least there's that. Guys, get away from the steam. 
All right. May oh, zero percent, huh? Oh wait, is it because I'm highlighting the wrong character? Is he too far away? Twenty percent, not fantastic. All right, we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. At least it can't fail, right? As far as I know. Come on. Oops. I believe in you. Or something like that. Alright, it's open. Everyone through. So this goes on for a little while. It did preemptively show the whole map for me. Oh. Oh, I thought I heard something with something walking around, but it was just oh there's there's a guy over there. But the first sound I heard was just me. Is there anything over there? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Don't say anything past that valve to warrant trying to break past it necessarily. Let's go ahead and avoid then. Hey you. Feeling a little dead? Well, that's effective. <laughs> How are we doing on ammo, though? Is what I'm concerned about. Load of 14. Shit, How? let's review the ammo type on this gun. Point, 7 point. Oh, yeah. I stocked up on this at some point. We're good. For now. It's always a minor concern. Like, oh, yeah, this one character cleans these hallways really well. But does relying on him exclusively for all my attacks mean that I'm going to completely run out of all ammo and get myself into a bad situation? Because that seems totally possible. Oh, hey, guys. Um, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. <laughs> Crap. I was not on top of that as, as much as I should have been. Oh, cool. We're diseased. That's what I always want to have happen to me. So what's that going to do to me? Diseased. You've been infected by something or someone. If... If the aches, nausea, and fever don't get you, the bullet will. Minus a bunch of stuff. Maybe it'll go... Is this something that... I wonder if this is something that'll go away. Or if I'm screwed. Either way, we have an obvious range problem on this nearby one. So I'm gonna have to shoot the far away one. And help my party can help out with otherwise... I'm out of it. I'm out of uh, AP. Alright. Let's try to get myself out of the way a little bit. Can I even move? Oh, I had to turn off my attack. My bad. Can I... Maybe I can't move. He must really be stuck. He seems to just be stuck there. Oh, cool. My melee characters can't get through this hallway. That's a fun problem to have. So I'm currently controlling that guy. Oh, yeah. I can take two steps forward and get stuck, basically. That's helpful. All right. Yeah, if I were to go back and start the entire game from scratch, I'd probably make a bunch of high intelligence characters, and I'd probably just completely skip on melee altogether. <laughs> I probably want to sub these characters out and get a vulture back at some point. I just kind of wanted to try out these new party members because the game was giving me new party members, but they, not be, they might not be worth the time. Wow, that is not... That is damage that does not quite compete with the other damage from the sniper. Definitely get a sense that I'm gimping my party a bit with these characters. Let's try to finish you off. Just for the more guaranteed kill. Okay. Seeing how much damage it did, I probably should have focused on the other target. But I just wanted to get one less living character if I had the opportunity. 80%, don't screw me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for the sniper, sh the shotgun blast, I guess. Don't use this very often. So that's what that's when it hits my teammate, so careful. Cool. Thanks for your help. Oh shit, look at him sneaking by. Is that character disease oh, no mention of diseases, that's a good sign. At least there's that. Bam. When they're, not, when they're not getting stuck behind the ranged characters, this is probably the context in which having melee characters ex excels. Yeah, this character can't move. Oh, I see what happened here. You see, his stats got reduced by the disease, and that's made him over-encumbered. That's why he couldn't move around. Alright, so we're just going to want to take this rocket and just transfer it over to my 
more weight, more of a weight-bearing character. We'll see, but I, I'm under the impression... I'm thinking that this disease is one of those temporary diseases, and not one that I, that I think that I have to worry about killing my character. But I guess we'll know in a few minutes if that's the case. Create a stamp of ammunition. There we go. It's funny, some people recently... I, I, I had a, a, a number of people that seem to have just started the series relatively recently. And they're, they're leaving me so many comments of a device, or, Oh my god, you've made such a bad mistake here, and stuff like that. Kind of comments. And, uh... I don't know if they fully conceptualize that the, ep the series is, like... Actually, I forget a little bit, but it's somewhere in the ballpark of, like, 60 episodes in now, I think. Or 70 episodes, even. Is, I think it might be getting close to. And, uh, they're giving me advice on... No, is it cl close to 60, I guess. It doesn't matter. Uh, they're giving me advice on, like, episode 8 of how to play differently. And I'm like, y you, you realize that time has passed. Kind of have to wonder, like, from a hypothetical standpoint, like, sure, they're, they're, they're selling how, how, like, how I could play differently. But I can't help but wonder, like, do they genuinely think their advice is helping me? Did we just win in one shot? Yeah! That was a lot of damage. Goddamn. Alright. I like that the, uh... <laughs> I like that the build-up and stuff and all the, like, ooh, interface was more time-consuming of than the actual fight was. Discard trash bag. Let's see what's in the trash. Scrap and a bent spoon. There is no spoon. There's, ne there's never been a spoon. There never will be a spoon. Wachowskis. Wachowskis! Oh, there's a ladder leading back out. Guess we'll find out the hard way where it leads out, right? Hey, look, we're in someone's house. That's always a good sign. Let's just quick save before they notice me and get really mad or something. Hey, you. Well, who the... What the hell are you doing in here? Guards? No! Can't we just have a sweet little conversation? Alright. I'm not really in a hurry to get into really bad situations like this, so let's... I think I'm gonna go ahead and quick load. And I think I'm gonna go back out the way we came and go can go back to exploring the city a little bit more before we choose to inf infiltrate. But uh, at some point, if I do choose to infiltrate this building, after I have a better idea of what the building even is yet, uh, we'll probably jump cut past that little sewer area and just suddenly be inside. Wait, am I allowed to just add the repeater unit without anyone noticing? Does that work? Echo one, Santa Fe base. Go ahead. We attached a repeater to the transmitter and Angel Oracle over. Copy, Echo One. Seeing a large boost in our range. They must have a strong transmitter. Sure seems like it. Can't ever stop hearing from them. We should be able to double our range by piggybacking off their signal. I'll send out a fresh broadcast right away. There might be people out there who haven't heard our message yet. Send a fate base out. Wow, that worked. Everyone stay put for a second. I want to see what this is. Radio's outer casing has been outfitted with a customized lock and computer interface. If I touch this, after careful thought, you realize that it is not the best time to mess with the radio unit. <laughs> yeah, computer science does not seem to be going anywhere there. Let's try you real quick. Nope. Alright, so this is the main thing we attach the transmitter to. Your repeater unit sits passively affixed to the receiver. Alright. Everyone down downstairs quick. <laughs> Alright, we just got away with attaching the repeater unit. I think that's the only mandatory thing you have to do in Angel Oracle, technically, so... If you were trying to get through the game quickly, you could just... Wow. You could be done with Angel Oracle in like 10 minutes, huh? Because you could just... Walk in Angel Oracle, go left, go into the sewer that I went into, or whatever, this 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 basement area. Go go through those tunnels, fight a few cockroaches, click on the repeater, leave. That's not... I don't plan on leaving yet, but seems to be an option. Alright, welcome back to Angel Oracle. The uh, top side part. So it seems to be some kind of big stadium. We're probably gonna go... Uh, probably not go deeper yet. Let's go across the other side of this particular lit level that we're on right now. So as we went through last time, we noticed there's a lot of background dialogue going around. What's this stuff? Looks like just pieces of boxes or like wrapping or something. Eh, it's debris. Let's not focus on it. I don't think it's gonna amount to much. A lot of people around here. A lot of Robinsons, apparently. There's definitely a lot of background people. Might be a little hard to pick wow. out the important people. Look who we have here. Rangers. Hi. Wow. Look who we have here. You deigned to stop by. I heard you were in the Coliseum, of course. 
What can you tell us about the execution? I think it's a mistake. And Mr. Manners is ignoring me telling him that. And that's an even bigger mistake. It'll be hard for him to rebound from that one, but as long as he tries to maximize his principles according to his heart, he should be all right. Do you need any help? Help me? Help us? No. The important thing is for you to help yourselves. Why be altruistic when you can maximize your own potential? See you around, Rangers. Hmm. And if everyone sees his ultimate power, what then? Then we all are fucked. The end. Fun story. It ends really well for everybody. God damn, there's a lot of Robinsons around here. A teaching from the book. Etiquette demands that we act civilly toward one another. If you are being rude, we'll set you straight. Have a great day. All right. I love my favorite thing to happen in little societies is just, you know, just constant ongoing veiled threats. Feels extra welcome. These are also Robinsons. I'm kind of glad they have little random dialogue happening all the time just because their name pops up when they do that. Getting a little constricting around here if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Well, we're all Robinsons, right? We're all supposed to be seizing our destiny. Yeah, and? Well, if all of us are seizing it, Everybody's peace is gonna be kind of small, ain't it? Huh, never thought about it that way before. So I'm going to Rhodia, where no one else has ever heard of Destiny, and I'm gonna seize all of it. Damn, that's a great idea. Can I come too? No, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> that's kind of perfect right there. Where is this place? This will take you. Thank you, game. This will take you. Oh, it says hospital. There we go. That's more important. <laughs> Couldn't quite, didn't quite make it out from that angle, but obviously can read it there. But thanks for that dialogue, dialogue, dialogue game. This will take you somewhere else. You are now somewhere else. Hello. So clean and well maintained. I love to talk to you, gentle ranger, but unless you need something from our pharmacy, or until you're occupying one of these beds, I'm afraid I can only give you a moment. That is a large weapon for you to be holding, uh, Doctor. Also, I just want to point out the difference between the... the 3D model we're looking at with the ponytail and the black hair and everything, and then like the... the, uh... like a tube top and blonde hair we're seeing in the portrait. Let's see. Here are your medical supplies. Oh, you found them. Thanks. It was Gitlin, wasn't it? No, it was a man named... Named Runyon Pearson. Really? Interesting. I always thought there would be something shifty about that man. Well, thank you for returning the supplies. We're always short, so this is a great help. I've of course never heard of this quest at all, but I think that I happened to find- I'm pretty sure that's the corpse I found. So I just cleared the name of somebody that I didn't know was in trouble in the first place. Because I found the quest objective before I found the, the quest. Uh, why are there so many people in your beds? I have the feeling your presence here means we're going to see even more beds filled. The Robinsons and Mannerites don't get along well at the best of times, and we seem to need the show. We seem to know. We uh, we seem to have the need to show up for visitors. Who are the Mannerites? We're good people, if I say so myself. Maybe too polite for our own good sometimes. What m makes people think we're pushovers? It's always a, a, a real surprise for them when we find out that we're not. The Robinsons? I might be biased, but the followers of Toy Robinson don't seem to want to get along. They want to get ahead, but that doesn't work here. And they're stepping on a lot of toes. Be careful around them. Tell us about the pharmacy. If you need to buy medical supplies, we're open to trade. If you're willing to sell supplies, that's always appreciated. I'm also willing to pay a premium for certain ingredients, such as... I make most of my meds out of badger tail, roach abdomen, frog eyes, and lizard legs. Depending on the condition of the specimen, I'm willing to pay a uh, premium. Badger tail, roach abdomen, frog eyes, and lizard eggs. Let's see if I have any of those things. And, what, and by which I mean sell junk. Yeah, we sold junk. Let's see. 
Whoa, sound effects are happening. I guess someone must have leveled up. Oh, they probably leveled up during the dialogue, and then and now this is out of dialogue, so it's freaking out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I would have those objects still in my inventory, if I w or if I would have just sold them automatically anyway. Uh, is that an egg? What's that? An old condom. Sweet. Glad I'm keeping that one around. That's not getting weird at all. Anyway. We're looking for cat litter. You got any? You want it for its anti-radiation properties, I'm guessing. Well, we don't carry it here in the hospital, but Mr. Manners keep, uh, keeps them for his cats. Alright, another hint about the cat thing. Someone leveled up. I think I might specifically wait for him to uh, get low on health first. Just because it seems like a good way of saving on our, res our resources. Sam, drop him like a bad habit next time. What do you want? Can't you see him? I'm recuperating. Nice shiner, been in a fight. If you can call it that, fucking Gitlin jumped me out of nowhere, that pussy. He never would have landed a punch if he'd given me fair warning. Who's Gitlin? Jonathan Gitlin, pansy ass, mannerite simp. He and me are both trying to get a, into the city, the civility enforcers, but he doesn't have a chance now that everybody knows he's a thief. Ha! That spot's mine. How do you know he's a thief? I saw him. He was snipping around the ladies' room waiting for an opportunity, and Nurse Finkman had something stolen from the ladies' room a few days ago. It has to be him. That is, uh, not how evidence works, sir. Uh, why'd he punch you? I have no idea. All I did was tell everybody that he was a thief who's been stealing for everybody's stuff. I mean, I think you'd have an idea of why, then. If he disagreed with me, he should have said something, not punched me in the nose. I thought manner it's supposed to be polite. Uh, you, you, you slandered his name and he punched you. It seems straightforward enough to me. Are you sure this has nothing to do with trying to beat out Gitlin for his position in the Enforcers? What? Of course not. I'm just doing my civic duty, exposing crime and punishing wrongdoers. I would I would have beat Gitlin fair and square for that spot. Everybody knows I'm the better man. Sure, sure seems like that. I take it you're not a man, right? No way, I'm a Robinson, born and bred. Carpe diem, motherfucker. That's my motto. What what other stuff has gone missing? All kinds of stuff. Old man Paladino's lost a watch. Nurse Finkman lost some medical supplies. Lindy Lou lost her tool bag. That Gitlin's a kleptomaniac. What, what, can you tell us where Lindy Lou is? Last I saw her, she was working on the ventilation fans out near the farms. And Finkman? Oh, she's right here. She's around here somewhere. That's the, This is where she works. Yeah, I already talked to her. That was a mistake. Paladino. He's usually hanging out near the commons area. Alright, so you didn't see him actually see, steal anything? I didn't have to. I know it was him. And now everyone else knows too. You're a dick. Yeah, beat it. Visiting hours are over. I'm just gonna strength. The funny, the fun part is knowing that I could just pull right trigger and just be like, bam, and take him out. The annoying character, Doctor Edwinson. Welcome, gentle wounded, to the hospital. Uh, do you require care? Uh, can we borrow your microscope? You mean take it out of the Colosseum? Why? What do you need it for? We need it to cure plague and rhodia. A plague in... Rhodia. Wait a minute, are you going to give my microscope to that thieving asshole Horchata? No way, I'll die first. So you let people die of a plague to spite an enemy? Damn right I will, I... I... No, I can't, can I? I'm a doctor. I've got to put that first. But you better bring it back. What do you have... What do you know about Robert Horchata? He was a good doctor, I'll give him that, but being civil always seemed to grate on him. One morning we woke up and he was gone. His loss was a shame, but the supplies he stole were the real blow. If you happen to see him, I think it would be polite to punch him in the face to bring it all back. He's living in Rodia, by the way. Well, uh, yeah, we know that because we already talked to him. Let's see, you don't need to talk about Rodia. What did he take? Some syringes, bandages, a whole bunch of pharmaceuticals. We've managed to rebuild some of our supply, but... We can always use more ingredients to help restock our pharmacy. Are these the same ingredients we've heard about before? Badger tail, roach have been frog eyes, lizard legs, yep. Alright, uh... He left because he, he, he couldn't be civil. That's the only reason? Well, he just couldn't stop swearing. Mr. Manners didn't like it, said he had a terrible bedside manner. 
got to, to the point Horchata could see the writing on the wall, he realized Mr. Manners was going to make an example out of him, just like Fletcher. I don't blame him for leaving, but he, he shouldn't have stolen our supplies. What else do we have here? Just, they're just gonna say the same thing about Catler that everyone else does, right? Oopsie. I hope you avoid overly grievous harm. Cat litter. We don't keep it here, but if you ever need it, yep. They have. He mentioned that they have it over there, Mr. Manners. Ow, ow, ow. Yep, lots of people in the hospital. I think I'm, I may have. I think I've learned before not to randomly practice practice med, med, uh, medicine in other other people's hospitals. If it were for the medical symbols, hey, medical symbols, yay! Don't mind me, guys. Just helping myself to all your shit. What was that about someone help at taking your medical supplies? Maroon shirt with flash. Alright, we all good? They're not mad at me yet. Alright, so we're back out into the main Coliseum. This place looks straightforward enough. This this looks like it might be a place that that uh is a little bit less bloated than a uh, Rodia turned out to be. So, we've covered this entire top wing now. Left side leads to the tunnels, right side's the, ho the hospital. Not much else going on up here, I don't think. And so if we ever need to sneak into that facility that's over there, then we can use those tunnels, but I need to figure out what that facility is and why I want to sneak in. So beautiful. Besides the uh, radio repeater, presumably, because I already attached that, which is a fun surprise. That's the main reason I came here. Mind your manners, friends, and we'll all get along just fine. Now, what can I do for you? Let's see, anything new? Nope. Alright. We're just gonna head down, then. I can see why everything is so well-ordered. She keeps order with grace and tact. Hey, everyone. A teaching from the book. Force is the last word in an argument. Let's not argue. Have a great day. I'm just here to guard the prisoner, gentle visitors. There's a prisoner? Strangers, gentle strangers, a moment of your time. That's close enough, V, please. I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to talk to the prisoner, not the... not play with things. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you can intercede for me. I have been wrongfully imprisoned. Why are you imprisoned? Mr. Manners must know I'm innocent. He must. I admit, I did fail to wash my shirt a couple of weeks in a row. I did fail to pick my room, pick up my room, and I did apparently lead to a roach infestation, but it wasn't deliberate. I've just been depressed. Ask my wife. I'm usually very clean, and I can be again. Can you tell us about your wife? Her name is Eliza Vita Shetskov. <laughs> Shestakova. And, uh, you can usually find her up on the farm near the solar uh, collectors. She and Mr. Manners are good friends, which is why I don't understand this. She and being she and Mr. Manners being good friends, I think, is exactly why you should understand this. <laughs> Sounds like they might want you out of the way, honestly. Uh, surely he wouldn't want her to be unhappy, um, unless that's unless something else is going on, like say what happened with the uh, other love triangle in Rodia that wasn't so great for the person that wasn't in power. And what could make her more unhappy than the execution of her husband? Why have you Why have you been depressed? It's personal. I, well, my wife, she's been keeping to herself lately. She won't talk to me, and she won't say why. I'm afraid I've failed her in some way, but she won't tell me how. It's really got me in a state. Seems like it's, she's having an affair with Mr. Manners, straightforward enough to me. What happened, to the, what happened with the roaches? They came out of the steam tunnels into my room, and I take responsibility for letting them in. But I helped stop them, and I said I was sorry. Please, you have to help me. How can we help? Just tell Mr. Manners I'm innocent. I'll wait here patiently until he sets me free. Alright, sounds like he's pretty used to manners after all then, if that's his solution for the problem. Ask for help and then sit around politely. Um, what do you know about Mr. Manners? I know he'll free me if I can just get a moment to talk to him, please. Could you visit his quarters and beg him to hear me out? He lives in the booth just up the stairs, right over by the jail. Why don't you escape? I would never do that, how rude would that be? Please, gentle, gentle last hope, speak with Mr. Manners to get him to hear my plea. Else, maybe it's worth it. Wow, Corin Kane, you are just creepy. 
Uh, I mean, maybe he should just get executed. After all, he is dirty. I mean, this place seems nice, so fucking start killing everyone who makes a slight problem. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, this is probably a decent place to cut it, guys. So thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time, and I'll try to be much more consistent here on out with episodes. I'm sorry about the last week. <laughs> see you next time.